Hey you guys, welcome back to another Kimball's Corner. Uh, so, if you are in the Jane Davenport Facebook group, you know that August is going to be all about travel. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, but there is a prompt list of cities around the world, and I thought it would be kind of fun to show you what I'm gonna be doing for those prompts. But first, I got these delicious goodies that I just wanted to show you. They are the Storytime paint pens. They are gorgeous. These are the Snow Queen set. It's black swipe. You get a thick one and a thin one of each. Thank you. And then these ones are the Wonderland set. Thick and thin of each. And oh my God, these pens are freaking awesome. You guys, it has a Micron one and two. It has three sizes of chisels and a whole bunch of brush pens. These are amazing. They're waterproof, archival, all that good stuff. I'm loving it. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna do an ink drawing of what I'm gonna be doing for the prompts, like an idea anyway. So one thing I've learned from experience with paint pens and ink pens is that if you lay down inks and you go over with paint pens, it usually picks up the ink and smears it like crazy. I don't know if that's the case with these, but I'm kind of guessing because like that's just the nature of the beast. Um, but if you lay these down first, you can go over these, like these can go over these easily, no problem, as long as they're dry. So, we'll find out. It could be a mess, we don't know. Oh my gosh, lots of talking, let's get started. Let's get to arting starting. So I'm gonna create a border. I mean, these are brand spanking new. And we're gonna pull out this big, beautiful, chunky one. Oh my gosh, I gotta shake it up. I gotta take the plastic off, I think, yeah. To get the cases off, you can just twist them and it'll rip the casing. Makes it a little easier to get them open. Uh, Cause otherwise, ooh, well, I guess there's no paint on it yet. Um, otherwise it can be a pain, of a pain in the butt to get off. If you've never used one of these before, shake it up. Cause you have pigment in there as well as like the bonding agent or whatever and they can separate. And since these are new, I don't know how long they've been hanging up. So I'm just gonna get that shake, shaken up. And then this obviously has no color on it yet, so you gotta start pumping it. And when you pump it, it push, you can already see, like you push this nib up and it starts letting, it like opens up little channels, and then like the uh, paint can start flowing through. Oh, look how pretty. Um, so, got it nice and juicy. Look at that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, oh, and this is just a regular sketchbook. I got it from Barnes and Noble, um, just cause I've been doing a lot of drawing it lately because I've been working on the sofa. So actually this paint pen probably isn't great on it just because it's regular paper. But what I'm doing is creating a border. Um, to make it easier to draw my picture. And the reason it's easier is because I'm not overwhelmed by an entire page. I am now just looking at a little scene. So I might play with those a little bit later, but it's a lot of prepping and pumping involved. I love ink pens. So I'm gonna take a Micron 1, which is the smaller one, I believe, right? Am I crazy? Oh my God, that is so tiny, tiny, tiny. That's the Micron 2, that's the Micron 1. We love each other. So I'm gonna use the 1 and use it, cause I'm not gonna sketch out with a pencil. I'm just gonna kind of sketch in pen and this is such a cool carrying case. BT dubs. Gorgeous pen too. Who doesn't like turquoise and black? For reals though. <sighs> For the prompts, since obviously I'm not going to all these different cities, I go on Google Maps and I just do street views in different cities and pull up different things because that's what I want to do. So for this one, I'm keeping it somewhat simple, possibly. It could just be really difficult, I don't know. I am doing a place where Rocky and I like to go eat. If you wanna try and stalk us, you may look it up, that's cool. But also I like to pop in a character. I didn't think things through as usual. I don't wanna make it, make her too big, just because it really shouldn't be about the character. I'm gonna come back in with the other pens because the different looks that you can get with them are so awesome. Probably should have like kept her mouth open and a little more fun. This is like, hello, welcome to this place that Rocky and Kimbo like to eat. Oh, it's delicious food. 
and it's very crazy eclectic. The place is called Paper Moon Diner, just if you want to know. Uh, I really haven't decided who I'm drawing, but apparently she has freckles because freckles are a part of life now. Drawing in silence, ugh, I swear. Wow, her head is giginormous. So basically what I did is got a screen cap off of Google Maps. And I have it on my iPad in front of me. I, I just took a photo, like, yeah, like I said, a screen cap. And I'm just drawing it. And by drawing, I mean trying to draw, because buildings and structures and such, not my forte, I gotta say. Sometimes it looks good though, sometimes it looks just really awful. But you don't get better if you don't practice, right? Speaking of, I've had a lot of people ask me how to like get better. There is no trick or secret. It is just a lot of practice. And if you love art, then it shouldn't feel like work or anything. Like it should just be fun. Even when it doesn't turn out, I understand you can get frustrated. I get frustrated when I, you know, envision a piece and it just isn't coming together. But I st it doesn't like to it does not deter me from doing more. Oh my gosh, this place is hilarious. They have like mannequins out front. They look so cool. They're decked out with like. Their bodies have like pennies glued all over them and like mosaics and glass and mirror and It's inside and outside. This place is crazy. And they have like a garden area with like a bathtub with plants oh, It's fantastic It's a moon shape Never realized how spaced out this was And I'm not really showing much of the actual diner. I just, it's the sign. It's like she's looking up at the sign. Sort of, kinda. We have like a roof line that comes down. And there's like a little building behind it. Some trees. Some more trees over here. I get now that she and friends does not make any sense, but you know what? In my world, she's a freaking giant, okay? She's like 30 feet tall, and she is bending down for this photo. So you better appreciate her effort. So that's pretty much it with this pen. Ooh, moving on to another pen. So the chisel two, ch two, channel two. All right. I am, I don't know, I love, love, love the completely, like it just changes the look. And you can like do it fast and try and get some sketchy stuff. You can kind of hold it on an angle so it doesn't completely draw a line. You can do this pointed side and just get like these really fine lines. Ugh, I tell ya. I just, I don't know. Also, can we talk about how waterproof they are because that's fantabulous. I don't want this to get too big in the background since it's further in the distance. I want it to stay somewhat dark, or not dark, um, light. Like the ink lines to stay somewhat thin is what I'm trying to say. Ooh, this is a big mama. I must use it. Okay, we'll just, we'll just add a little black to the border. that turquoise pop. Oh, that's fun. This would be really cool to do, like if I colored it in old black and then I can like outline her in white and make her pop off the page. But that would just, well, I could make it a nighttime scene and have it, no, okay. No, you just stick to what I'm doing. It's probably dry, right? So I just grabbed a water brush and my Jane Davenport Brights palette. 
let's try and make a skin tone. It's very orange. Got all these other colors I can just start <laughs> mixing into it. Add a little blue, calm it down. I probably should get some paper towel. That's kind of skin tony looking. Skin tony. Again, it's not really about her, so I shouldn't focus so much of my effort on her. And this is not watercolor paper, so don't expect greatness, just expect fun. Also, if you'll notice, I didn't really let the inks dry and they are waterproof. Like none of this black ink is smudging. Sometimes, like when I used to use Micron, never again, I used to use my Sakura Pigma Micron, whatever, you know, about these. These doodly boodlies, I used to use those all the time, and even if I let them sit for a while, they would still bleed and ruin my life in that moment. So I'm over that. I think this is working out really nice. Actually, maybe I'll make her backlit. I don't know. I haven't decided any of these things. You know, all the important things one should figure out before they start coloring. Give her some pinky, purpley lips. But these are fun little things to just do in a sketchbook. Like they're not, they're not finished, they're not perfect, they're just fun. She has golden colored eyes. And there is no orange in this one. Orange is my favorite color, but for reals, like these pinks and the yellow make such a yummy shade. I mean, you can make orange so easily with just pink and yellow. <laughs> But I'm lazy and I want it. Although in the glitzy palette, oh my god. Frolicsome, I want to say, is the color. Let me just grab it. It's right here. Frolicsome. That is my favorite shade of orange. She nailed it. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Give it a blue sky. Blue skies. That's right. There's no music playing in the background, so you gotta deal with my hot mess of a voice. All right, this is just all blue. Something about leaving really sketchy lines and just throwing in some watercolors kind of makes me feel fancy. I feel like I should be doing this like in a coffee shop or something. One of those artists, I don't dare. <laughs> I'm too scared. I don't like drawing in front of people as I do my YouTube channel. Oh, it took a lot of convincing to get me here, let me tell you, because I was so nervous and terrified. And Rocky's like, what are you freaking out about, you weirdo? You're literally sitting by yourself. <laughs> I was like, yes, but people will see. But you guys have been really awesome and really nice. So that's why I'm still doing this. Because if y'all were mean and scare me away, scare me. You guys have been awesome. That's all I gotta say. So thank you. Thank you for making me want to keep creating. I appreciate it. Give her a little shading now. Just little bits here and there. And I leave it kind of blocky, kind of chunky. Like I'm not, again, like this is in a sketchbook. In a sketchbook. It's just there for me, it's for practice. And for fun, really, let's be honest. She looks dead eye, but I'll try and fix that later. Um, hmm, what kind of jacket is she gonna wear? She would wear a dark jacket. Yep. Nice dark jacket. Oh, and then really dark. I think it's a green color, but I'll slide down that first. Add a little greenish tint to it really blue one. If that's what they are in real life, I don't know, but in this photo they look very blue. Got like a weird, yeah, let's just mix these colors, uh-huh. Whatever that is. Some other colors can bleed into it, I don't mind. Take this green, splash the green down here, and take some of this mermaid into the Jimmy, is it, oh, <laughs> Jimmy, Jiminy. I'm gonna crack it. And then add a little yellow. This is also green. 
that's actually almost the exact same color it's supposed to be in the photo. And then yellow underneath it. Wow, this is a very colorful building that I've never noticed. Even though I've been into it numerous times. The sign is blue too. But it's a dark, dark yet saturated blue. That little box up there is like a weird gray color. So we'll just fill it in dark. It's like a weird, I think it's red. All right. Ooh, I like it. Get these out of the way and dry this just real quick. I could, oh, I'm gonna try this. Oh, we're doing it. Gonna pull out this one and just, like I said earlier, I'm gonna outline her. Got a shake, give it a twist, twist and shake. Peel off. Get off of my beautiful paint pen. Shake, 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 called Aju Nice, it's, it means nice and very nice. Yes, I am obsessed with these and 17. Cute. Look at those teeny tiny dots. You get the gist. Ooh, let's get the green out. Oh, now I'm obsessed. Don't worry, I'll cut this out, I swear. I got this, I'm a trained professional. I'm just like watching it as I pump. It's everything. I'm just trying to see what pumping action is the best for it. Woohoo! Probably should've done the bigger one. <laughs> At the time you can see it, it's like right there. Come on, little guy. I feel like it's a Polaroid photo, like shaking it, you think it's gonna actually help. It's coming! Okay, well it's not fully loaded, but it's enough to get all these little dabs in here that I wanted to do. I know, all of that just so I can add some texture. But to me, it's worth it. I kind of wanted to cover up some of the, the black in the trees. Add a couple leaves out into the blue sky. Some big ones. Worth it for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I want to keep playing with these though. Let's try a brush. What other brushes we have? Oh, that's fancy. I don't want to use that though, just in case any of the paint is wet. I want like a brush brush. <sighs> that is so cool. <laughs> Those will be all up in my drawings later. I'm just looking at them all now. I'm just like, oh, look at the fancies. SB Super Brush. Oh, you a super. Okay, can we just see how, how thin these lines can be with this brush? I love brush pens. Add some sketchy lines. Cause I want you to know it's not a finished piece. It's fun and it's sketchy and it's me playing with pens. Don't you forget it. <laughs> so this is basically what I'm gonna be doing for prompts for August. I will find some random street views and draw a character, like I have nine characters that Rocky and I created throughout the years, plus a couple that I created before I met Rocky. And I will be putting them in the photos and maybe Rocky and I will make a couple of appearances. But yeah, it'll just be little drawings around the world, little Google, Google Maps street views. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Live vicariously through Google Maps. Hashtag not sponsored, I guess, I should say that. I uh, wish, can you imagine? Google's like, yes, Kimball. We'll give you money to you know, draw pictures from our maps. <laughs> That's enough diddly dallying from me. I'd like to thank you guys for joining me. I had a lot of fun. I'm excited with these. You will be seeing a lot of artwork. If you're on that Jane Davenport Facebook page, uh, mixed media page, I will be posting all sorts of pieces with these because I'm obsessed, obviously. Awesome, 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 awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this Friday. I had a great time and I can't stop arting. I'm sure I'll be drawing well after this video. <laughs> okay, for reals. Thank you for stopping by, you guys. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next week 
probably with a more refined version of what we're doing now, or maybe we'll paint with some acrylics. Maybe I can get Rocky to join me and do a voiceover because I have plenty of videos that we need to do some voiceovers for. Either way, see you guys next week. Love y'all, bye-bye.